this is what call hybrid financial instruments sometime we call it uh, compound instrument also compound financial instrument it contains both equity and liability at the same time it is equity as well as liability a convertible bond is conventional loan and equity if you issue convertible bond which mean that you are authorizing the person who hold your convertible bond that they can convert into equity it is it is in their choice not the company choice but in their choice then we have a trade stock trade shares try to understand this word again share is when you buy company shares it's called share but when it is fully paid share in certain countries people are issuing this share in parts maybe 10 rupees share they ask you to pay 5 first and then later on they will call you 5 but in pakistan we upright ask for pay full amount 10 rupees so when a share is fully paid it is called stock so it is not that stock which we say in the uh, simple word uh, trading stock also no it is a stock means fully paid share so trading stocks is basically company owns share repurchase Com when you company issue shares that is okay they debit cash and credit share capital but they can reacquire the share from the market if they wish they can reacquire the shares so those are shares which they reacquire from the uh, market that is known as trade shares or trade stock offsetting the financial assets and financial liability selling to a company and buying the same time debtors and creditors for example you are buying from let's say mr x and you are also selling to mr x you are buying for 10 rupees and you are selling for 15 rupees so it's not like that that you ask him to pay 15 and then you pay 10 no you offset just pay 5 i just ask him to pay 5 contingent settlement provision in fact this depends on certain condition occurring on certain events that a financial instrument for which the manner or the settlement depends on the occurrence or non occurrence of uncertain future events or on the outcome of certain circumstances that are beyond the control of both insurer and holder in financial liability you know something uh, a contingency means that you don't know exactly what is going to happen but if it happens for example you got a share and you don't know whether the company will declare the dividends or not so such time that dividend is not declared you cannot record it so but if we look into the previous period they used to declare so we may say when they declare then it becomes our received and we can record it in our books so this is what basically depend on the happening of certain events equity and liability should be presented on the balance sheet following the substance of the instruments if an instruments contain an obligation to pay out cash it is a financial liability in against this liability you opt to pay cash so that is your liability equity in, in the case of equity you cannot ask the company to pay so it's not a liability as such it is equity so this is one thing very important that uh, equity and liability are two different things in liability at the end of the day you have to pay but so for equity is concerned you are not supposed to pay okay you can exchange but not you have to pay preference shares that pay a fixed rate of dividend and their redemption feature at a future date are also financial liabilities previously we used to report preference shares as a part of equity but not any more because you pay a regular dividends on it because when you issue you mention clearly that is 10% so every year you have to pay 10% you cannot pay to the ordinary shareholders unless you pay this 10% to the preference shareholders plus if they have redemption right or conversion right so that is again it's a liability convertible bond issued the proceeds are recognized as debt 
एंड इक्विटी ऑप्शन मीन कन्वर्टेबल मीन्स दैट इफ दे विश यू कैन दे कैन कन्वर्ट दिस बॉन्ड इन टू इक्विटी सो दैट्स वाई इट इज पार्ट इक्विटी एज वेल एज डेट ऑल्सो न द डेट इज मेजर्ड बाई डिस्काउंटिंग ऑफ कैश फ्लोज एंड द इक्विटी इज द रेजिड्यू ऑफ द प्रोसीड्स वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन हाउ वी कैन सुप्लीट द टोटल कन्वर्टेबल बॉन्ड्स इन टू लाइबिलिटी एंड इक्विटी इंटरेस्ट ऑन बॉन्ड्स एंड डिविडेंड्स ऑन प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स आर ट्रीटेड एज फाइनेंशियल चार्जेस इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट आल दो on a, on a bonds you let's say pay interest or if you buy the bonds you receive interest so that is your income what you are going to see so that will be reported as an income in your sir similarly the dividend which we pay on preference share that is also an expense it is a part of financial cost but so far dividend paid to the ordinary shareholders that's a distribution of profits that is not expense that will not be reported in the income statement as such but it should be reported in statement of change in equity so make sure that you understand these interest dividend etc thank you very much